today we are going to give you some vital information about the early life of Shamsuddin Iltutmish. Iltutmish was the son of Ilam Khan who belonged to Ilbari tribes of Central Asia. They were Sunni Muslim by religion. He had two elder brothers. He, had, he lost his parents at the age of six. Iltutmish married Turkan Khatun, daughter of Qutubuddin Abak. He had four children, Nasiruddin Mahmud and Razia Sultana from Turkan Khatun, Muizuddin Bahram from Nadira Begum, and Rukuruddin Firoz from Shah Turkan. Iltutmish was a wise and patient statesman who had been trained as trusted administrator under his predecessors. Shamsuddin Iltutmish was the third of the Mamluk kings. He ruled the Gurid territories in northern India. Iltutmish was the first Muslim to rule from Delhi and thus considered effective founder of Delhi Sultanate. He gave country a capital, an independent state, a monarchical form of government and a governing class. While still a boy, Iltutmish was sold to a slave dealer at a horse show by his brothers, from where he was brought to Bukhara, where he was resold to local Sadr e Jahan. From there he was later sold to Bukhara Haji. It was Jamaluddin Muhammad Just Kaba, a merchant, brought Iltutmish to Ghazni. Qutubuddin Abak, a slave commander of Muizuddin, bought him in Delhi. Later on, Iltutmish became Sar Jandar. He rapidly rose to the position of Amiri Shikar. After conquest of Gwalior in 1200, he was appointed Amir of town and was granted Ikta of Baran. Kutupaltin also granted him Ikta of Badon. The Badan contingent killed Kokar rebels into middle of Jilam River in 1205-6. Muizuddin noticed in Tutmish an order deed of manumission to be drawn at this occasion. After Muizuddin's death in 1206, Kutubuddin Abak became ruler of Delhi Sultanate, but he died unexpectedly in the year 1210. After his death, Gurid Empire was divided into four parts, where Delhi was controlled by Iltutmish. Thank you.